Lord Dufferin, Canada's third Governor General, created the Governor General's Medal in 1873 to encourage academic excellence across this nation. It is the most prestigious award that students in Canadian schools can receive based on the highest average from a high school. Darlene Sofia Cuevas has received this year's Governor General Award, attaining an average of 98.3%. Congratulations, Darlene, well deserved. Hello to everybody, everybody in Winnipeg and uh, the students, the 30 students that uh, have uh, so successfully completed their curriculum and are getting scholarships from us. Congratulations to you. The uh, purpose of my talk here is to encourage you to keep working at your education and using education as a means of getting ahead in life. I'd like to say that uh, I myself am a prime example of it. Uh, I grew up on uh, Alexander Avenue and I'm a graduate of uh, Dufferin, High School, Dufferin Elementary School. Grew up in the shadow of uh, the Salter Street Bridge. And that's where I lived for the roughly the first 12, 13 years of my life. And uh, right from uh, the start adopted the idea that I had to get ahead and to get ahead, I had to use education as a means. I had no other means to do it, and we didn't have the wealth to uh, to afford to uh, be able to do it on our own. We had to do it with education, and that's why we're contributing as we are to education, to scholarships, to help other people accomplish the same goal. Now, uh, what makes me so very, very happy is that the Indigenous at St. John's High School now for the first year, or the second year now, have exceeded the number of non-Indigenous graduates. I think it's a, a, a terrific accomplishment and a part of the Indigenous at St. John's to work so hard to be able to uh, go on with their education. And uh, I'm absolutely thrilled to be part of it and to help, uh, help with it. Now, I'm sorry, I'm a few thousand miles away from Winnipeg now. I'm sorry we had to do it this way. I'm gonna endeavor next year to be there in person. And I'd like so much also to be there at your graduation and congratulate you in person. So with that, the, 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 the key thing is stay in school, get and maintain the good marks, go on with your education, and that will enable you to be somebody in, in life because you need that element of education. Now, uh, we're talking with people like uh, Murray Sinclair and a few others that are helping us and cooperating with us. And uh, I wish again to wish all of you the, the, the best of luck with your future education. I wish also that you would stay in touch with St. John's High School, let us know how you're doing and uh, geez, the best of luck to you in the future. And uh, I look forward to hearing your accomplishments in the future as well. Thank you very much. Warmest congratulations, St. John's graduates, as well. Congratulations to everyone who has walked this journey with you throughout the many years. Before I present the Tomlin Foundation scholarships, a few wishes we have for you. May you continue to treasure and to use the gifts of wisdom and knowledge that your family, school educators, and everyone who celebrates you today have given you. Use this knowledge and support to open doors not only for yourself, but for others. May you continue to invest in yourself and never underestimate your impact on the lives you touch. Know that each of you has your own timeline for things to fall into place. Don't rush things. 
May your wealth be the people who surround you. Lastly, may you always take the high road. It will serve you well. A hearty congratulations to the following Tallman Foundation scholarship recipients. Alicia Franzik and partial scholarships to Tierra Ducharme and Avenite Sandu. Enjoy your celebrations, everyone. Keep well. On behalf of the Schulich Leaders Scholarship, I am pleased to announce that one of our own, Darlene Sophia Cuevas, has won one of 100 Schulich Awards across Canada. It is a most coveted scholarship with $100,000 given on the basis of academic excellence, leadership, creativity, and charisma, all of which Darlene has in spades all at the age of 16. Created to establish the, the next generation of entrepreneurial-minded technology innovators. Darlene is attending the University of Manitoba studying biosystems engineering. We await the game-changing contributions we know Darlene will be making one day. Good luck, best wishes, congratulations. Hi, Kaylin and Rainey. On behalf of Build From Within, I just want to say congratulations on completing your grade 12 and also finishing your educational assistant diploma. I'm so excited for you to start your school placement and university next year, and I know you'll both achieve great things. Have a good summer. To my fellow graduates of 2021, it is an honor to be given this speech on this special occasion. My name is Rosie, and I am your valedictorian for this year. Good morning, teachers, staff, families, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. Before we begin, I would like to thank Mr. Taylor, our principal, and all the wonderful staff at St. John's for playing a big role in making today's possible for many of us. So, let's take this day to celebrate one of the most significant days of our lives but also one of the happiest days, because this is a day all our efforts have finally paid off. Wow, I don't know where to start. Some of you have known as classmates, and lots of you have known as friends for many years. Some of us have been to St. John's our whole school lives together. It doesn't really matter how we got here or what kind of relationship we have, because what matters most is that we're all tigers. And as Mr. Taylor said, once you become a tiger, you always will be a tiger. No matter where you go in life, we will always share this special tiger bond. As you know, we didn't all just appear at graduation. This journey required an extreme amount of effort. We all have seen each other's struggles and stress, the battle marks, and so many other challenges we have faced in our lives, including myself. One of the unfortunate struggles of our high school journey has obviously been COVID-19, which has now been added onto the list of things we would like to most pass on this journey of life. Going out to celebrate a memorial event, having to distance ourselves from our neighbors, friends, close relatives, and loved ones. This time in our lives has been made so much more challenges as a result. That we made it despite these challenges. And for that, we should be proud. Even though the pandemic has prevented us from enjoying many high school experience we once took for granted, we continue to move on. Studying online for most of us wasn't easy, but we did it and we finished strong. We kept our head up high and moved forward each day, one step at a time. This was a challenge as we were forced to make many sacrifices, 
by disconnecting ourselves from the people we love and cherish. As a result, our journey was quite long and at times a real struggle. But no matter the struggle, the good times along the way makes it all worthwhile. Remember Mr. Wood, a history teacher that kept us in class with story after story that it ended up teaching us more of his history than the history itself? Well, regardless, he taught us a lot. There was one teacher who was always there when we need him, and that is Mr. Vong, our math teacher. There's also my all-time favorite teacher, Mr. McMillan. No offense to all the rest. He has a secret of his own, a curly, blonde wig leaning somewhere in his office for some random reason. Though he is my favorite teacher, I will acknowledge that he's also a weirdo. That's why we all love him. Oh, and let's not forget Mr. Burley, the guy that sings Christmas songs in September, but decides to not put up his Christmas tree until December 1st. As curious as I was, I asked him why. He told me a secret. He said that it was Burley's Christmas tradition. Coming from a guy that sings Christmas songs in September, it always seems funny to me. When I started to realize how weird the teacher were, I told my parents. Apparently, it wasn't reason enough to let me transfer. But I'm happy they didn't, because these weirdos taught us a lot. And I'm proud to have been a student at St. John's. We all made tons of memories during our time at St. John's. I remember 2019's Great Wars, where all the team players came together to represent their grade. One particular event stood out to me, the dance competition. It was the day before the performance, we were struggling a lot, and somebody from my group suggested doing a dance to Baby Shark, which was apparently extremely popular at the time. We all decided that we were just going to wing it, but I decided to ditch and hide out in the band room. While I felt really bad missing out on making a fool myself with my teammates dancing like a shark, I couldn't have been any prouder of my team's school spirits. These are the sorts of memories we will hold forever dear to our heart as we think back to our time at St. John's. A common element in many of these memories relate back to the amazing teachers and staff at St. John's High School. So let's take a moment to give our appreciation to our teachers who set us onto the path to success and who supported each of us in a variety of ways to reach this goal. Thank you to our parents for encouraging us and making us the people we are today. Our advisor who engaged with us and have given us multiple opportunities to see us succeed in life. A new chapter would be on the horizon, whether we ask for it or not. The road ahead of us will include many challenges, but I know that each individual graduate before me today has the potential to succeed. I hope that each of you can remember this message as you soon to move on to the next phase of your life. This is a goodbye. But saying goodbye doesn't mean farewell forever. It's to simply say that we're going on to our own separate path, each with a unique set of goals. I'd like to leave you with a quote I carry with myself by Paulo Coelho. There's only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, and that's the fear of failure. I want all of you to understand that feeling doesn't define your capability, but rather that is essential for our growth. When the day comes, not a thing will prevent you from chasing your dream. If you learn that failure is part of the process. Before I conclude this speech, I'd like to give a special thanks to my family for giving me the chance to get an education and for everything that they have provided me with me, the person I am today. Thank you, and congratulations to the St. John's graduating class of 2021. We are proud to pass you this torch to keep the spirit of St. John's alive. We will try our best to uphold the traditions that you have modeled for us here at St. John's School. Now we are proceeding to honor our graduating class in order of their diploma service. <laughs>